Community members in Augusta are preparing for a busy weekend. Their annual Wapiti Fun Run took place this morning. MTN's Cade Mentor has the story. It's expected to be an active weekend in the town of Augusta, starting off with about 100 participants coming together for a special cause. This is the sixth year in a row the Augusta Wapiti Run took place on Saturday morning. So it started up six years ago and I just wanted to start a community event that everybody could come with their families and just have a good time running in the different races. There's a 10K, a 5K, and then a one mile kids run. But it's more than just a walk and run. The event is tailored to raise funds for a specific project. So the funds now we are planning to build an all weather track for the Augusta High School. So we're hoping to have that within the next couple of years and all the funds will go towards new blocks or new, um, yeah, just things for all the events that come with track meets. The event also brought in some out-of-staters. Yeah, it was great. Um, great cause. I hear it for their new track and field. So pitched in, ran with a bunch of other guys. Um, it was a great time wearing jeans and boots. Um, but yeah, we had fun doing it. And with a busy weekend ahead of them, the Augusta Rodeo will take place on Sunday starting at 2 p.m. In Augusta, Cade Mentor, MTN News. MTN's Jordan Johnson takes us to Helena, where one event is raising money to support those in the military and veterans through an obstacle race. She even joined in on some of the events. Yeah. <laughs> The 7th Annual Montana Warrior Challenge kicked off on Saturday to raise money to support veterans in Montana. It's, uh, it's designed to get folks out, uh, whether they've been in the military or haven't been in the military, uh, get them back out, uh, interacting with uh, other people, their team, uh, the community a little bit, volunteers, and just have a good time uh, exploring or navigating a, an obstacle course that uh, is going to challenge some physical skills and some mental agility and uh, just really some team building uh, overall. Ryan Luco is the executive director of Impact Montana and says that the 11 teams that signed up for the course will go through 18 different obstacles. A symbol uh, throw that you have to toss uh, the ball over a like a 10 foot uh, uh, bar. And we have an axe toss. Impact Montana supports not just veterans, but also active duty military members, first responders and their families in six core areas of their life, such as financial wellness, physical wellness, spiritual, social, career and family. Um, we support individuals um, in their journey, uh, wherever they're at in their journey, um, in their desire to grow in each or maybe one of those areas. If you're interested in Impact Montana's support, you can visit their website at impactmontana.org. In Helena, Jordan Johnson, MTN News.